Imagine trying to navigate the criminal justice system cut off from basic communication about the rules of the prison, about your health care, about when meals are, about your probation requirements. That's what's happening in Georgia, where people who are deaf or hard of hearing aren't getting the accommodations they're legally entitled to. Take my client, who's deaf. Like many deaf people, he can't read or write in English because his language is American Sign Language. But getting a qualified ASL interpreter appears to be next to impossible in Georgia. So when he was released from prison, he needed to comply with the requirements of his release. And if he violated any of them, he could be sent back to prison for 25 years. I shot this footage as we tried to meet those requirements. He needs to officially get registered within the 72 hours. Um, I don't know when the translator is going to appear. From Neither do I. <laughs> The first issue was that he had 72 hours to register with the right offices in the right counties in the right order. Even though federal law requires government offices to provide effective communication access, this Georgia Sheriff's Office had no clue how to ensure effective communication. This is if you violate, go back to jail, maybe up to 30 years. Okay. We went to eight locations in a span of 72 hours. If I hadn't been with him, there was no way he would have known where to go based on the information he was getting. Another issue was the false information he kept getting during these visits. There was an officer on site who said that she could interpret, but she was really just fingerspelling in English, which didn't help my client. He communicates in American Sign Language, not English. And what's worse is that the fingerspelling was often wrong. So here, the interpreter was trying to ask my client what his risk level was. What she actually fingerspelled was R-S-I-K-L-S-U-V-S-L. My client did not understand what she was saying. We pushed for another interpreter, but got the same incomprehensible information. But so the information here, like if he breaks the rules, he goes back to prison, right? Yes, ma'am. So it feels pretty important that you really understand that. I'm not that. saying it's not important. It is important, about that. But as far as providing a certified um, interpreter at our expense, I don't know that we're required to do that at this point. OK. The staff wrongly told him that if he wanted a qualified interpreter, he had to find and pay for one himself. This is false. The Americans with Disabilities Act specifically says communication access must be provided at no cost to the person with a disability. So remember, my client can't afford to get any of these steps wrong. And if he does, even though it's not his fault, he'll be punished with another 25 years in prison. When the government refuses to take disability into account, people like my client go to prison more often, stay there longer, and return faster solely because of their disabilities. This has to end, and that's why the ACLU is suing. The law is clear. The government just has to follow it.